it going? Very good. Everybody, this is Kaylin Switzer. Hey, Leela, how you doing? Hey, Tom, how's it going? <laughs> very, very good. This is Leela Reader Esparza. Hey, Taylor and Chloe Gall, how are you guys doing? Hey, hey. Very good. Hey, Jeremy Paz, uh, how are you doing? Doing great, Tom. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Yeah, we were both a part, both part of the inaugural crossroads. The musical theater group. That's right. It was a little show choir -y, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. It was a little Glee-esque. Check out YouTube. It's just a dive. It's great. <laughs> what was the musical flavor of the year that you were leading? Yeah, I think we, we were along the lines of Maybe R and B, maybe a little bit of soul. I think it's the closest way to describe it. My sophomore and junior year, the kind of flavor of the music was uh, more of a folk singer songwriter influence. Um, and then my senior year, that changed a little bit because we had some students who were into more of an R and B feel. So it kind of became still kept the folk singer songwriter roots, um, but more with like an R and B fusion. It was really interesting, kind of how the two genres. Combined. I don't think we could put a label on what Crossroads was the first year, but it was just right. a bunch of students that got to have ownership in creating something totally new and different. Yeah. Right, right. Was overall, what was your Crossroads experience like? How would you describe it? Yeah, I would say it really helped me um, kind of sh be shaped into the musician that I am today. Um, I feel like I really grew a lot in my musical abilities. Um, as far as, you know, just through my years, I just really grew in, in um, my team working skills, my leadership skills, uh, and it just, it was a, such an amazing program and I'm just really fortunate to have been a part of it. So. My, my <laughs> first memory was, uh, it was the night of classics, because I think it was jazz, and uh, Day of, this was the day of, after our sound check, you came up to me and said, hey, I've got a great idea. Um, just hear me out, just hear me out. And it was uh, in one of the songs, you wanted to do like a, um, like a get the crowd involved and do It's gonna be fun though, I promise. We're gonna do a little, uh, little scat lesson, teach you guys a little rudimentary scat. So what's gonna happen? I'm gonna sing something. You're gonna sing about that to me. Does that sound good? I think Tom, you you displayed just incredible leadership uh, of being willing to go. We to get somewhere we haven't been. We have to do some stuff we haven't done, and mm -hmm. trust like us who are like these stupid kids with these dumb ideas. And I can't believe the things that you let us do or let us try. Yeah, <laughs> pretty crazy. Thank, um, thank you, man. I think. We were really lucky our year. Something that Jeremy and I were really um, adamant about was making sure that our team was really close, um, just socially. We wanted a family dynamic, and um, it was a little awkward at first, but but we we nailed it. Our group was just so close. I mean, we we kind of just lived that season of life together. We mm -hmm. did homework together, and we went and got food together and we did late night rehearsals and it made the music so much more fun because we were so close and we just like had a blast the whole time. Right. We really wanted to do was make sure that we completely just revamped our sound. Mm -hmm. um, we wanted to make sure we allowed everyone in the group to have complete like input into the arrangements that we had. Um, we need to really push ourselves and see, okay, how can we create a completely new sound that Crossroads has never had before? Learning learning how to work with others and conflict resolution, and um, there was a lot of leadership available to us in Crossroads. And so um, some of those life skills are really important, but it was challenging along the way to learn how to work with people and work with um, people who have different ideas than you or whatever. Right. Uh, the biggest part uh, that really stretched me was just kind of learning to, to lead my peers. Yeah. Um, I think that, you know, wherever you are, if you're working with people who are either older than you, the same age as you, um, it's a little bit difficult to kind of figure out and navigate, you know, um, how to best lead them and how to not let yourself get in the way, but to really think about what's best for the group and how the group is gonna benefit. You know, learning to lead your peers is totally different because they're at the same level as you. Sometimes they're better musicians than you, and it's just like a, a learning game of figuring out how to 
how to motivate them to be great, you know, for themselves, but also for the team and how to encourage them to, to learn and take advantage of all the opportunities in front of them. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Tom. You. It's great to see you. you we too. love you. My Jessup family is one that I hold dear to my heart and I just love you guys. You're great. Uh, we love you too.